Hey everyone, I got something fun in this video, Lego cars. So we're going to build 10 cars, we have 124 pieces, and a big racetrack. So let's get building, and then do some racing. I wonder which car is gonna win. So here in the front we have a booklet with all the different instructions for our cool cars which we are going to be building in just a moment, but let's open the box and see what we actually have. Wow! Oh, these must be pieces for our ramp. Nice! What else do we have here? Oh, that's right! The Lego pieces themselves. Okay, this is going to be fun. You know what? Let's first build our ramp. These are our pieces for the racetrack. Oh, we got the finish line right here. So let's see, it's on one side and on the other as well. So we have one, two, three, four. We got some building to do. And here we have, wow, things like cones, a grid barrel, boxes. Whoa, I'm guessing these are things that we can crash our cars into at the end. Here's one section of our track. I always love to pop these out. Oh wow, but this is really going to be a big track because this is one section and we got one more. Now this is fun as well. <laughs> Ooh, and the finish line. Nice. So take a look at our track. It's going to be pretty long, right? So this is going to be our lower track. This is going to be our upper track. This is where we're going to begin racing our cars. And this is where we're going to end. How do I know? Look at the checker flag right here. This means it's finish line, the end. So let's begin by putting this track together, the lower part. So we have like this banister on the side, huh? like this. Now what we're going to do is place these small little pieces right here into these holes to make sure that it's secure in place. And we will have to do this to all of them. But you see now, uh, it doesn't fall off. Once we do this to one side, then we have to do this to the other side as well. There it is, two sides finished. And look, ah, no matter how much we pull and we shake it, they are secure in place. So before we move on to this second track, let me put this divider right here in the middle so that when we are racing our cars, they do not crash into one another. You see now it's separated and we got two tracks. Oh, it's falling out because we now have to secure it right here at the bottom. One track finished, one more to go. So this one is going to be going up. So we have this right here, and we're just going to put this track right here into these holes, and check this out. This is going to be our hill going down. But the same thing, just like with the first track, the same thing with the second one, we just need to secure everything in place by putting these small pieces right here. So we're going to do this to one side and then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So before we put in this other side to create our track, we just have to create these supports right here at the bottom. And then there's also two more right here from the top so that it is going to be stable and it doesn't fall over. Dun, 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 dun. It's complete. Oh, one more piece. I totally forgot our divider right here in the middle. Again, we do not want our cars to crash into one another as they are speeding down this ramp. Now that our two pieces are completed, we can finally attach them together and we have our racetrack. And now our finishing piece, the finish line. So we can bend it on both sides, just like this. And now we can place it right here 
at the end. So what do you think? Pretty cool racetrack, right? It's pretty big. Wow. Our hill begins right there in the distance. And then this is the finish line. I think we're going to have lots of fun with this. As fun as this racetrack is, we are not done yet. Because remember, we got one more piece. So some of these look like they're going to be attached to our cars that we're going to be building. But other ones like this are going to be cones, banana peels, boxes, and barrels. So that we can place this along the track as obstacles for our cars, for example. Just make the race a little bit more difficult. So, let's see what kind of obstacles we have. We have three bananas. Oh, banana could be slippery, especially the peels. We gotta be careful. So we can bend them and place them on the track like this. So that's one obstacle, our bananas. Here we have boxes. Uh-oh, this looks like a pretty big obstacle. It's really tall. Okay, what else do we have? This looks like some sort of a bin or a barrel. Either way, I would not want to run into this. And then we have one, two, three, four, five cones. So how do we put them together? I think we just I'll bend them like this. And then we have to place it through here. Wait a minute. This is my first one, so it's not going to be perfect. But hopefully, as I put them together, I get better at it. And... They're going to come out even better than this one. But these are going to be our cones. And then we also have some signs. Made it. Okay. Made it. Too slow. Oh, no. We're going to be fast. Oh, we're going to be this, right? Speedy. The opposite of slow. Ooh, and first. Let's see which car is going to be first and win. Okay, so we got our racing track. We have all the obstacles ready to go. So that means we just need to put our cars together. And here's the pieces, woohoo! So remember, there's gonna be 10 cars and we're gonna race them against one another. So here are our first cars ready to race. So first up, we have the Wing Chariot. So it has these smaller wheels in the front, the big ones in the back. Whoa, look at the flames coming out of the back. And the reason why it's called a wing chariot is, well, it has these wings right here in the back that move. So this is our racing car number one. And this is the crash test car. So it also has these flames coming out of the back, bigger wheels in the back, smaller ones in the front. So let's race these against one another. Who do you think is going to win? Hmm, I wonder. Before we put our cars on the track itself, we have this piece right here, which we can place into these grooves ah, right here. So now that we can lift our cars, place them right here behind it. They are lined up. And all we have to do is now lift this up and they will go at the same time so that the race will be fair. Here's our finish line, so let's see which one of these two cars is going to reach it first. Three, two, one. Whoa, what happened? They did not even reach the finish line. But as you see here, the crash test car went much further than the wing chariot. It seems like this car got stuck coming down the ramp. So we have a winner. This car is going to go to the next round. Let's race another two cars. So these two cars are next. This one, the tiny one with the small wheels, is called Turbo Time. So it's tiny, but it looks really fast with these flames coming out in the back. And this bigger one is called Phoenix 77. 
And look at this really fun spoiler it has right here in the back, which we can move. Okay, so let's see which one of these is going to win and move to the next round against Crash Test Car that won the first time. Here we go in three, two, one. Whoa, and we have a winner! Turbo time! And the bigger one, Phoenix 77, didn't even make it to the finish line. But did you see turbo time? It just zoomed by. What a fast little car. So we have a winner. Okay, next two cars. So right here, we have the Blazing Booster. Now Blazing, because check out how many flames this car has in the back. It looks really fast. And this one is called the Sailor Zoom. So it has like this sail right here in the back, which says, Wee! I wonder which one is gonna win. This really fast one with all these flames or the one with the sail? Hmm. Three, two, one. Oh! And the blazing booster wins. And the sail, oh, barely reaches the finish line. So we got another winner. Okay, next two cars. And finally, here's the last two cars we're going to race. So check this one out. This one is called Dune Buggy. And look at this engine in the back. So it's a pretty small car with a powerful engine. Whoa. And this one is called the Dragon Dragster. Looks pretty nice. So let's see which one is going to be the winner. Here we go in three, two, one. Oh, and it's the Dragon Dragster. I honestly thought that this one is going to win with this engine, but I was wrong. So I wanted to just race eight cars so that now we have four winners and they could race each other in like a semi-final. But... I want to show you the last two cars that we can build. Check this one out. This one is called El Scorpio. And it looks like a scorpion, right? Look at these like claws in the front, which we can move. That's an interesting vehicle right here, but we can race it. We can also use it on the track. <laughs> That's fun, right? And here is our last and final car that we can build with this playset. And this one is called Willy Wonder. And you have this engine in the back with the flames. Kind of interesting. Okay, so let's do our final races. We have four cars. And so let's race them against one another to find out who is going to be the winner. Okay, this is it. This is our semi-finals. So first, let's race Turbo Time against the Dragon Dragster. But since this is the semi-finals, let's make this a little bit more interesting. Let's place these cones, these obstacles, for both cars. So now these races are going to be a little bit more difficult. And here they go! Whoa, these obstacles really stopped them. Look! Dragon Dragster almost went out of the tracks, but you know what? I think he won. He traveled a little bit further than Turbo Time, so we have the winner. Okay, so he is going to go to the finals. And now, our last two cars. Okay, here we go, our last two cars. So remember, this one was one of the first ones that we were racing, Crash Test Car. And that one right there is the Blazing Booster. So let's see which one of these is going to go against the Dragon Dragster in the finals. But let's put some obstacles for them as well. So let's use these banana peels. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! 
The banana peels really stopped them. But here it is. Crash Test Car has won. He traveled faster than the Blazing Booster. Wow, but I really didn't think the banana peels are going to slow them down this much. But we have our winner. Okay, here it is. It all comes down to these two cars. Dragon Dragster and Crash Test Car. Let's see which one is going to be the winner of all these races. And yes, I have those obstacles ready at the end of the finish line. Our final countdown. So in three, two, one. Oh, and it's the Dragon Dragster that takes the first place. Wow. I was not expecting this car, to be honest with you, but it did it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this big long racetrack. And I hope to see you soon in another video with more toys. Bye bye.